Hey, welcome back to some more Minecraft. The Minecraft version where you never use beacons because the particle effects are so annoying. <laughs> At least that's my case. Remember like a month or two ago, they said they were going to add the option to turn down the particle effects, but they never added it. But as you can clearly tell, we are digging out a massive room and this is the crypts, the main crypt room. I already have some tombs laid out here. I think I'm gonna go one more over in each direction, so there'll be five long that way, but in this direction, it's gonna be very long. I have quite the creative process ahead of me. I gotta design something in the middle here. This is fun though. I want this place to look endless, you know? I want it to have that fog effect at the end. That's how big I want it to be. I'll see you in a little bit. No small build, that's for sure. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm laying out the tombs. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. This is what I had in mind. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit of a gravity problem going on. I don't think this would be supported <laughs> like this. So I think in some areas, I'm going to have to get rid of one tomb and put a support pillar. I won't do too many. I'll probably just do like one there, 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 and there. So when we get here, we come to a circle. This is where I'm going to have candles lining all the way around this. This is where the new lecterns are going to be. And then I think I'm gonna go the same distance that way. Yeah, so I want this to be the center. That's how big I want this place to be. But honestly, I'm still deciding, I will put the names on these tombs, but I don't know if I wanna treat this as the wall. I think I wanna have, oh, this is tough. I'll come up with something, don't worry. Be back in another five hours. <laughs> It's a couple hours later, um, as you can probably tell. Actually, I don't know what I showed you last, but as you can see, <laughs> we have all the tombs in here. Now this won't be a mall. This is just all for today's episode because let me tell you, I'm tired of digging. I'm also kind of tired of building these tombs. <laughs> I decided this will be the end of the wall down here. We're just going to expand that way and that way. As you can see, we also got a nice circle here. I'm gonna build a nice domed roof or ceiling, I should say. And I might go open the chapel and bring those books down here so we can fill some of these up. As you can see, I have an entrance here. I am struggling with some ideas, but I think I might land on... Hmm. So I wanted to do this idea called the Hall of Stories. So I'll just have one long hall, and on the wall we would try to tell a story with some pixel art in some way. Make it match the vibe down here. But I've been building a story in my head for these ancient people, and they are currently at war with piglins. So in another part of my world, or even the nether, I'm going to create a giant ancient base for, I guess, ancient piglins. So I was thinking a way to, like, show a battle for a large amount of gold, and eventually, at some point, somewhere in my world, or even in the nether, we can create a huge area that leads down to a huge treasure room, kind of like National Treasure. I totally got inspired by National Treasure. <laughs> and it'll just be a room full of gold. Eh, it's just all in my head right now. I need to focus on this. Man, I've just been working on this nonstop. I mean, I hope you guys are okay with that, because this is all I'm really wanting to work on today. Uh, I mean, I usually do that anyway, focus on one build most episodes. But I've been trying to design this. I don't know why I've been having such a hard time. Uh, I was going to do that Hall of Stories idea, but perhaps we can do that in another part of the ruins. This is just going to be the new donations room. I just want to display them in the most honored way possible. Uh, but I like how this room turned out. I really do. I love this cobbled deep slate mixed with blackstone look. It's going pretty well. But the idea here is, is this is going to be where I'm going to put them. There's going to be another one right here, and I'll probably do a third one. I mean, just for the sake of the future of this world, who knows, this might reach a thousand episodes. We just, I just wanna have space. <laughs> and these doors will be given to people like Riffs and Casey McClara, the ones that have done way too much for this channel. I wish this was brighter, you know? When I get rid of these torches here, you can't see this detail of the, and I like it. You know what I mean? I mean, if you get rid of these, see, it's dark. So I'm gonna have to figure out some lighting technique. Huh, <sighs> now the question is, do I bring all the signs up in the chapel down here? Oh man, that'd be a lot of work, but I think it'd be worth it. It's a gloomy night out. I kinda like nights like this though. A weird opinion of mine, I actually really like overcast days. How is it raining in here? But in real life, 
Overcast days, I just, I don't know why. I like them a lot. Just like, you know, those very gray days. So I decided this is all moving. It's gonna take a lot. It's gonna be a waste of a lot of glow ink that I used on these, but it'll be worth it. Yes, I love it up here, but I don't want half of it to be down there and half of it to be up here. I just want it all in one area. So what I'm gonna do, take all this down, take all these lecterns, I'll leave one lectern, and on that lectern it's going to say that it has been moved and I'm gonna put like a bunch of boxes up there to make it look like we moved it. And it's obviously gonna be moved down here. I'm gonna put those lecterns on here and the idea I had in here is I'm going to line these walls up just like I normally did, but these tombs are going to be, like I said, dedicated to each of the people that have done way too much for this channel. <laughs> so riffs, we are going to build yours first, but this isn't going to be some regular tomb like I had before, the one that we made for riffs earlier. We're not going to use that one for him. This is going to be his. But I want to make it look cool. So in here, there's going to be a tomb at the end, but since he has done so much for this channel, I want to pile gold in here. I want it to look like this was a very rich man <laughs> and all of his belongings and possessions was buried with him in here. So this fictional ancient war I was talking about, I want it to be all about gold. They were fighting over gold. So somewhere in this world at some point in time, I'm going to make the biggest treasure room ever known to man in Minecraft. So that means I got, I, I, I really gotta start mining for gold. No, I'm not gonna put, oh, I could put emeralds in there just to make it not look all too yellow and goldy. And I'm gonna have a bunch of these doors. There's gonna be another one right there and there. And these are all just gonna go to people that really helped this channel. Psst, hey, I know, I know this video is like three days late. It's the holidays, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and look at this, look at this build. I've had to do so much to clear this out. This is just, uh, I had to wait a couple days. I'm sorry, guys. I broke my rule of only missing one day, but it is the holidays. That is my excuse. I've been busy with stuff and things. Anyway, enough excuses. Let's get this tomb built. It's already done raining or thundering. Come on. I, I it just, I heard one thunder and I come out here and it's already done. Okay. Ignore all my shulker boxes here. I have built something in here. Oh yeah, look at this, by the way. I love this effect. So I made it look like there are holes in the wall every once in a while. Doesn't that look cool? <laughs> so basically, I just add in some normal blackstone. Then around the normal blackstone, I add in cracked blackstone bricks. And then on the very center, I add in black concrete powder. And it creates this really cool effect because it's somewhat dimly lit in here. It makes it look like a hole in the wall. And also I am going to make this floor completely out of deep slate. And right here, as you can see, I have some deep slate slabs with some torches underneath just to give it a little bit of light because I do not want this place littered with torches. But if we head over this way, I have the first one made um, and all of these are going to look different. They're gonna look unique in their own way. Same as that one and those down there and even more. I don't know how big this is gonna be. It's gonna be big though, um, but this is going to be rifts. This is what I decided on. I like it. Like it's got these little pockets here. This is where it's gonna be overflowing with gold coins. I'm gonna make it look like it's gonna be guarded by gold armor. And I think in here, I want just gold to be laying all about around its tomb. So I think I wanna add an iron gate here, but make it look like it's open so we don't have to break it every time. To make it look a little bit guarded. Floor is not done. I'm tired of mining deep slate. <laughs> Let's fill this room full of gold. Oh, wow. That's pretty. Oh, look at my house. How much gold do I have? I know I have a lot of iron. I have too much copper, actually. I never thought I'd say that. Oh, it's laggy. How much copper do we have? That's iron. Still a lot of iron. That's a lot of copper. And I took three stacks of that for my beacon. Okay, not that much. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my, wait a what? I forgot I have a whole vault. This is what I mainly want, though, because that looks like coins. Oh, wow. Hello. Look at all this gold I can take. <laughs> I made a pile of gold coins right here. Oh yeah, and look at all that. Jesus, I forget about this place sometimes. Ah, oh, it's so weird. After working in a dark space for so long, it's so weird seeing a very lit up area. What do I have in here? Light wings. Lots of netherite stuff. Ooh, an notch apple. I still gotta create the security door for this. This is some high value stuff. Servers are fully operational. Things are looking good. Well, there it is. I didn't want to go too overboard. I was going to put some gold piles up here and almost make it where you couldn't walk in, but I think this is reasonable enough. This is a lot of gold if you think about it. I'm pretending these are like 
nuggets or, or coins. Even got barrels full of the nuggets or coins here. Got a clock, a gold ingot, got all the gold armor, even gold blocks. That's expensive right there. <laughs> even got some ingots over here, another pile. I like how it looks. I'm just gonna put normal torches in here. It lights it up well. Soul torches just don't light it up enough. And you see, I, I just don't like my lighting decisions sometimes because I put a lot of detail, at least I like to think, I put a lot of detail into the ceilings. I guess I could do that. No, that's lame. It's a hidden secret. You can't see the detail, but it is up there. I've got a lot of sign moving to do, um, <laughs> and to think those aren't even from up there. That's all the people who've made it on the wall in the past three days. God, you guys are crazy. All right, what next? Ah, sunlight. Warm virtual sunlight. I have frogs stuck in here. How'd you guys get in here? Look at this. Hey guys. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna steal some dirt from... Wow. I haven't taken stuff from this chest probably in like six, seven years. Do I dare do it? No. Okay. Uh, just to get out of the ruins for a little bit, I want to try to attempt this idea I had last episode, if you were not here. I had this idea where I'd create this some sort of parkour thing around my house. Now, this is not going to be a challenging course because it's not a training course. I just want it simply to be something fun to jump around, maybe when I'm answering comment question of the day or just whenever the heck I want. What inspired me is having this right here. So perhaps we could start it here. This is harder than I thought. I didn't know how I wanted to blend it into the house because having random trap doors everywhere like that kind of looks odd. Or maybe I simply shouldn't use spruce trap doors, but I kind of got it going over to the tree house right now, but I didn't have to do a lot. It's just kind of all naturally here, you know? So I kind of got this, that, you jump over to this, you run and then you jump over to here. Yeah. And then you get up here, jump down here. <laughs> And then jump over to this bamboo. Oh gosh. Jump to this. Go up through here. Yeah. Yeah, this is awesome, isn't it? Yeah, totally. And then jump down here. And then this is where I stopped. So perhaps I don't want it to go that way. Maybe I want it to go all around the new section of the house. So let me try that. Hmm. I feel like I could use that as like a tight rope walk, even though it's not really a rope, even though I want it to look like one. This take me up here. <laughs> See, I, I don't want to use these vines though. This seems kind of fun. What if I do like a little platform walk like this? Eh, I'll admit this isn't the best idea I've had. Let's just let's just scrap this idea. <laughs> oh God, do you know how bad I want to fix this, but also how bad I don't want to fix this? It's a survival lab, man. <laughs> This is just such an OG place. Not only because it was built back in 2014 or 15 or whatever, but because it's an exact replica build of an older series from like 2012. Yeah, it's very outdated in here and the glass is just awful. Welcome to Survival Lab Research Center. Wash hands before entry. <laughs> I just can't touch this place, no matter how much I want to. Ooh, I need those. What's that? What? I had an attic this whole time? My little balcony here to look down. I like, I never come up here though. Hey Caesar. Ew, what is that? Why did I put fences right there? God, look at, I mean, just look at this building style. I mean, I'd say I've improved. It's just fun to look back at this. I can't touch it. I just simply can't. But you know what I can do? That is come to these locations gather all of this stuff this very useful stuff got more over here good i know i have lots of gravel down here that's for sure it's so wild looking at that this is such a cool build but we can turn all of this i have lots of it into coarse dirt and finally finish this dang biome Ooh, look at that a freaking dragon this thing was fun to make Building very organic things like this with blocks is one of the biggest challenges ever, I'll tell you what. This is not going to be enough, that's for sure, but it'll put a dent in it. 
Starting to damage this place up a bit, throwing in cobbled deep slate everywhere. Now I gotta run through and, well, I already did it with this wall. Should probably throw in some random cracked all throughout this. I'm just still working down here a little bit. Rift's area is now completely done. I'm calling this complete. Uh, I just added in a few more gold items, um, added in the floor. Gotta run through here and edit. Oh, it's not complete. God. Okay, let me add in some damaged blackstone. Okay, now it's done. Added in cracked blackstone, normal blackstone, and cracked deep slate. <laughs> God, it's just getting to the point in this game where there's so many variants of every block. You can just add so much detail. I mean, look at it now. I mean, compared to its pristine state, this just adds so much character to this build. And if you don't do this, give it a shot. Just throw in that cracked brick. It's worth it. And replace some of the black stone or deep slate with its original block. It looks like it's chipped away and that's the under part of it showing. Yeah, I thought about adding candles in here, but it's all good. It's complete. There you go. Nicely done. I like it. Of course, we're going to another one right here, and another one right there and there, and then more down there and all over the place. I actually have this really cool build idea. I so badly want to start it, but I think I'm going to do that for next episode because it's pretty darn cool. Yes, it has to do with these ruins, but I'm having fun with them anyway, so we've kind of been down here all episode, haven't we? And while we're down here, I want to go ahead and say thanks to all of these guys. Um, which book was it? This one. Thank you to Scrabby with a massive donation. That helps me out a lot. Thank you so much. Tucker Dove with a huge donation. Thank you so much. Michael Briscoe with a kind donation. Riffs, Bedrock Adventure. He just won't stop, man. He won't, I mean, geez. I think the more he donates, the more I'm just going to add gold to his tomb. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Riffs, my man. Uh, thanks, dude. I, I really don't know what to say. Thank you. Especially during the holiday seasons, I appreciate it so much. All of these. Joseph Svezda. <laughs> Svez Svezda. Thank you for your donation. Simon Phillips with a huge donation. <laughs> oh, thank you, Simon. Jesus. And it doesn't stop. Hunter Rigdon. Ah, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what to do. Thank you, Hunter Rigdon. Ryan Searfoss. <laughs> these, are these are too big. And it doesn't stop. David Sobrowski with a huge donation, and Sergio Saip with a massive donation as well. All these people. Gosh, you guys are amazing. And all of them made it on the wall right here. These are temporary because I'm going to bring all those signs down here and uh, just have it all in one area to make it all nice and organized. Thank you all so much, and those guys went into the villager books. Seriously, each and every one of you have made my holiday season so much better. I appreciate it so much. A soup asks, what is your favorite and least favorite builds in your world? Oh boy. Huh. Oh, look at that. No, that's not a least favorite or a favorite. That's just an in-between. I'll start off with my least favorite, though. I think it's this right here. This thing. This is an old workshop. Is it still labeled the workshop? Yeah, workshop. Um, so I made this a long time ago. And I don't even think this is my design. I think I got help off of YouTube or something just for a, like a farmhouse design. And that's basically what it is. I was going to be a farmhouse at first, but because this was all going to be the farming district over here. But I ended up changing that and it just became an empty place. And I was like, okay, I need a place where I can put all my tools. This is actually where my armor repair room and all that. This is actually what this was going to be. And I always kind of think that would have been a good idea putting all of my repaired and unrepaired tools and armor in here just having the walls lined with armor and tools i thought that would be really cool and i'm still thinking about doing that but not necessarily oh we could do okay ideas are flooding into my head i mean i love my little workshop inside my house but i feel like we're getting to the point where we need to expand it okay i'm getting off topic but this this is <laughs> this is nothing right now so i just always run past that and like ew i need to do something with that my favorite? Oh, my favorite. Ooh, we need to continue this town very soon. What is my favorite build in this world? Now, I'm not going to go for a mega build. Like, I can't say the whole lab. I would have to pick something in the lab. Even my house. I would probably have to pick between the mansion and my new storage room right there. I just love the way this turned out. This is such a hard decision. This is such a big build, though. Oh, I just love the way it turned out. I love these little... 
the circle designs I put all over. I love the fact that the entrance, the main entrance into my storage room is like a cuckoo clock almost, you know? As like a giant hole with a board sticking out. And we just swoop our way in to grab what we need and fly right back out. I absolutely love this design. I like my little pulley system there. I love the smokestacks on the top. I want to add those all throughout the rest of my house. Oh, I did over there. I don't think I need too many more, but it's just so handy and nice. And I love the design, and I still want to do more up here. These side rooms, I want them to be a little more handy than they are. As of right now, they're, I never go in them. I like this down here. This is where I go to just relax. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be that, everyone. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. I'll see you in the next one where we're going to be starting a pretty cool build. I, I think so, at least. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.